What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zelda Toys, and today I have a review of the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Belial Atrocious. Or Belial, Belial. <laughs> I've been saying Belial since I was a kid in reference to, uh, you know, the demon devil. So I will continue saying Belial. You say it however you want. Tomato, tomato. Okay, so this is uh, Belial's uh, form in Ultraman Jeed, and it's a pretty cool form. Though this figure, I feel like, is kind of small. There's something weird about the proportions on it, but it's really pretty cool, very nicely detailed. This was a web shop exclusive, and we will take a look at his accessories first. We got a bunch of extra hands. We have open hands, and we have uh, like his staff holding hands there. And, you know, more like gripping hands. Not gripping hands, but like, like a fist hand there. Like slap hands. <laughs> I don't know how else to call it. It's open hands and more open hands. So you get, a you know, three pairs of hands here. Uh, pretty nicely done. I really like them. They kind of have a nice little wash on them. Like this whole character, you know, whole body hair has a nice wash on it which is very cool, and then a very nice shiny metallic for the base. That's really nicely done. So kind of looks like skeletal. Very cool stuff here. I really dig that a lot. He comes with his uh, iconic uh, Giga uh, Battle Nebulizer. Battle Nizer? I was going to say Nebulizer. <laughs> um, it's really well done. You can see the blue through there, this is the compact version, and this is the longer version. Very nice sculpt. Also done in kind of like a metallic uh, plastic, which is pretty cool. You could just take that out. And I guess take the other side out. There we go. I don't know why that felt so tough. But what you want to do actually first is get one of the uh, holding hands here. I can find it. One of these hands. All right, there it is. You would slide that in. Do that. And then he'd be ready to, to hold his staff. I'll look at the hands he's got on there in a second. Let me just give this a whirl here. Oh, yeah. And yes, guys, we are in the midst of a uh, little Ultraman, uh, little marathon here of reviews because Tamashii Nations 2018 uh, is in progress and we got a lot of Ultraman reveals yesterday, so I felt inspired. Let's see, and I have a little backlog here of Ultraman stuff, so really wanted to do some. This, these shoulder pads are probably my least favorite thing on the whole figure. They fall off a lot, so but we'll get into that in a second. Here he is with his weapon. Looks pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um, but I probably won't display with it. <laughs> because I really like these uh, like hell claws here. Very nice. Done in that, you know, pearlescent metallic plastic again. Really, really dig him. I mean, what's, you know, Belial without his claws, you know? Really nice Really, really nice. I really dig him. Looks great. So there you go. That's all his accessories. Now let's look at the figure. Like I said, these things are on these little, little, little hinge joints here. Just on by like friction. And boy, did they fall off easy. That is a big, um, big fault here, unfortunately. Uh, very easily to come off. They do move, but man, not good. So there you go. Let's take a look at the rest of the figure. We've got a little uh, purple timer there. This does not come out. I'm fine with that. That's great. I love that actually. As you can see, his whole chest looks really good, very nicely sculpted. And I, like I said, there's a nice little wash on top of all this like light gray. 
uh, all over the place. You can see it all up on the arms, and that's gray. Then you have the little metallic pearlescence going on underneath that really good the rest of the body is kind of like a gr regular gray but then you see this kind of like brownish line work within the sculpt uh very nicely done there the back looks awesome with all that really really cool really dig that a lot very very nice very nice indeed all going down the legs really dig all those lines and stuff and i like that they're all filled in with that it's the same you know, colors, as you can see it better here on his legs, uh, the lines there. It's That is the same as all the little, you know, wash that's over everything. Very, very cool. Really well done. I really dig it. Here you got that pearlescent again. I like how they, they added that in. Very cool indeed. His head sculpt looks incredible. Love this. Love it a lot. I like his eyes a lot. They look good. Nice translucent plastic there. Uh, and you get that nice yellow orange spilling through. His mouth looks perfect. Amazing what that little bit of wash does to it. So cool. His crest looks great. Everything looks awesome and is really, really, really highlighted well by all that wash on it. Man, that just like makes it pop. Super good. Super, super good. Uh, these little things on the side here, like are on little joints as well, but I'm not getting anything uh, popping off these, which is nice. So that works a lot. But, you know, like I said at the top though, he's got some really weird proportions in my opinion. Uh, I feel like his legs are very short. Like his upper body looks good, and then you look at the legs, and it just looks short. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. It just looks very weirdly short. Here, here compare it to our first release in the line, the Ultraman. I mean, look at where his legs end up, comparatively. It's like they forgot a joint or something. You see that? It's, very, it's a very weird thing. Uh, I noticed it right away. Now, I guess he isn't short per se, um, but the legs give him an appearance of being short. As you can see, he's, he's you know sized right there. And you know what? We might as well do our size comparisons while we have this, if Ultraman would like to stand for me. So... There's that, but he, I guess he isn't short, but it definitely gives off that appearance. The legs are definitely odd. It's it's a weird, weird thing, guys. Um, don't know what happened there, but here is Thunder Breaststar. Again, he's got his thing going on there, and you can see here, look at just where like his legs end up compared to his. I, I don't know why they did it like that. Um, maybe it's correct. I don't I don't know, but it just looks odd to me. Here's uh, Antlar, who's, yeah, he's a little short right now. <laughs> uh, and here is uh, Battle Damage Kiryu. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave the, uh, we'll leave it at that for the size comparisons. Let's do articulation though, shall we? Heads on a ball joint, and you got a nice neck joint. So you got a really good range of movement all up in there. That's cool. You got a really good ab joint. And a waist joint, so you could, eh, you could bend him over just to, eh, you get him a, enough. Enough where it looks like his back is at least an arched back. And speaking of arched back, there you go. That looks pretty good. So, not bad there. You have a butterfly joint here at the shoulder. And there goes that, and that's fine. Because it'll allow you to lift up the arm a little bit. You can see the hinge in there. Swirls around. It works, um, but not really with that there. Swivel at the bicep, which is great. And you got swivel at the lower bicep there at the elbow. You got the double jointed elbow. Get a little blocked off by this piece of gauntlet there. Hinge, swivel at the wrist. It goes about that far without wanting to pop these things out on his legs. There is a drop-down joint here. Um, 
<laughs> so I guess you can make him taller. <laughs> but it's weird. Uh, but there is a drop down droid. There is. You got a swivel at the thigh. You got a double joint at the knee. Kind of hindered the way they sculpted the back of his leg here. Eh, is what it is. Then you got hinge at the foot. What a rocker. And you got a foot joint. So there you go, guys. That is my review for Palal Atrocious. I keep saying Atrocitus. I've been saying Atrocitus since I got it. I think I <laughs> I looked at the box once, and since then I've been saying Atrocitus. I kind of like Atrocitus, which is a DC character um, who I'm very familiar with. But yeah, atrocious. Lyle atrocious. Can't get both of the names wrong, can I? So there you have it, guys. I think it's a pretty good figure despite these things falling off, despite the weird um, proportion. But I, I love, love the finish on this figure. It is so cool. Really, really nice. So really glad I've gotten to review this guy here uh, during this little Ultraman set of reviews. Um, because he, he's, he's, he's been a veteran of my videos, you know, for a little while now. So time to retire and go to the shelf, my friend. All right. Let me know your thoughts on this figure. Are you looking forward to the new SH Figure Arts Belial figure coming out that was shown at Tamashii Nations 2018? What other figures are you looking forward to? What other figures do you want in the line? Let me know down below, okay? And uh, if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time, peace out, peeps.